The Bible doesn't spoon-feed us the details on everyone's lineage, and Mary Magdalene's paternal figures are a prime example of this. If you're scanning the texts hoping to find a family tree diagram complete with little heart-shaped leaves for each name, you're going to be disappointed. The Bible tends to be rather selective when it divulges lineage, usually doing so when it serves the greater message or need for context. So, who's Mary Magdalene's daddy? The texts are silent on that. There isn't a single verse in the canonical books where she kicks back at a well and says, By the way, my father's name is this. Mary Magdalene is presented as her own person, known by her own actions and not by the men in her family. She's defined by her support for Jesus, her presence at the crucifixion, and her being the first to bear the news of the resurrection. Now you might be thinking, Scott, there's got to be some sketchy, rejected gospel that spills the beans, right? Even in the apocryphal works, the ones that read a little like Dan Brown had input, there's scant mention of her family. Living in Portland, Oregon, particularly with its wealth of bookstores like Powell's City of Books, allows for deep dives into religious texts, both canonical and non-canonical. Yet even with the endless resources, the answer remains elusive. The fun thing about historical and biblical mysteries is that they can act as canvases for our imagination. So, while the Bible doesn't tell us who Mary Magdalene's father is, it doesn't stop the curious minds looking for a deeper story there. In a world where we're often looking to crowdsource our information, maybe it's fitting that there's a blank spot here, a reminder that sometimes, not all answers are a Google search away. Sometimes history just gives us the silent treatment. And maybe, just maybe, that's okay.